It was during the indoor track meet and I was literally jogging to the line and I had a seizure 50 meters from the start line. There's always this kind of aura that you experience before the seizure, this feeling of something's not right. I would feel essentially like I was about to die. And then I go unconscious after the first few seconds of the seizure, I would stop breathing. They were really bad. I would go to the doctor, you know, oh, I've had these seizures, and it was always, uh, you know, okay, let's increase the, your dose of this medicine. Okay, maybe uh, let's try introducing another medicine. I had had a period of a year and a half, which was unprecedented for me, of having no seizures at all. And then over one summer, I had about three or four really bad seizures. And that was when me and my parents realized that medications alone are just not gonna do it. If you're having seizures, there's a problem. And if after you get some medical care, you're still having seizures, it's still a problem. He came in looking for options. We weren't looking for a change of medication. It was specifically getting brain surgery. You know, was I eligible? Um, what would it look like if I was eligible? If your epilepsy is amenable to surgery, if your epilepsy qualifies for surgery, it can potentially really help you. It can change your life. And if you have a good team, a good relationship of trust with your providers uh, in an environment where you feel safe, it becomes a lot easier to, to take that step. He's a doctor that really wants whatever's best for his patients. And he's willing to take the time and to go the extra mile to help his patients. It's not just one doctor who's approaching this with you. If we're doing something like epilepsy surgery, you get a lot of very smart people in the room discussing your brain and discussing your seizures and, and, and coming up with a tailored consensus approach for how best to help you. I was very excited to realize that I was eligible. I had the brain surgery Wednesday. I was discharged from the hospital and walking by Saturday. The surgery has given me a tremendous amount of confidence that I won't have any seizures anymore if I take care of myself. I now have my license back. I have my sense of autonomy and freedom back. I did have one seizure post-brain surgery, but that was because I wasn't taking care of myself. We upped the medications a little bit, adjusted, made some changes, and since then he hasn't had any seizures. You know, in retrospect, we can say with 100% certainty we got rid of the part of the brain that was causing the seizures, and, and we've led to seizure freedom that way. Epilepsy is defined by having seizures, but really it's, it's a brain's vulnerability to seizures. And if you can address that vulnerability, they don't need to have seizures. Some people will never be seizure free, but everyone deserves a shot.